All right, next up, we'll move on to NH bonds. And so uh, these occur, occur over here. You can see in this, um, uh, in this uh, 3,300 to 3,500 region. And so they're very similar to alcohols. And so it can be a little bit confusing uh, to determine between an alcohol um, and an amine. So you usually have to kind of use other hints as well. There is one really useful property of uh, these infrared uh, spectra of amines. And that's based on whether they have two H's or one H's, right? Do you have a situation where you have a primary amine where the nitrogen has two H's on it? Or do you have something that's a secondary amine where it only has one H on it? And so if you have a primary amine that has two H's, you're actually going to see two peaks, right? You see how this is kind of a, has two little bumps on it that tells you that it's a primary amine. A secondary amine will only have one H on it. And so you'll see only kind of one peak. That'll look kind of more um, alcoholy. And same thing with the amides, right? If you have something that has two H's on it, you'll see two peaks. If you have one H, you'll see one peak. Uh, it actually does not correspond to how many hydrogens are there. It, it's due to symmetric and asymmetric stretching, um, but it is kind of useful to remember two hydrogens, two peaks. Um, you can see this one overall does look quite, uh, quite a bit like an alcohol. Um, and so there is some difficulty there distinguishing. 